Good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. Our scripture today is Psalm 34, the Lord a provider and a deliverer. A psalm of David when he feigned madness before Ambimelech, who drove him away and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear it and rejoice. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces will never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. For to those who fear him there is no want. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves length of days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all of their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Another wonderful psalm of David, which reminds us of God's protection, and God's provision. I will bless the Lord at all times. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And then David tells us in verse 7 that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear them, fear him and rescues them. And then probably my favorite invitation in the Bible in verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see that God is good. This is the invitation. We are now in the season of Advent as we prepare for Christmas. May our lives be lived in such a way that it is an invitation for others to see what we have and then an invitation that we can give to them, taste and see that the Lord is good. What he's done for me, he'll do for you, he'll do for others. The Lord is good, he is loving. Jesus came into this world with the fullness of God. He came into this world as man and as God. He came into this world to die at the age of 33, bearing the sins of all mankind, because he loved us. Taste and see that he is good. He is with us always to the close of the age. He is everything that we need. So may our lives be uh, lived in such a way that they overflow with peace and joy and love and kindness and compassion, that others would want to have what we have. And we can say to them, well, come, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Let us now pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have tasted and we have seen that you are good. We thank you for your tremendous love and your mercy. We thank you for your mercies which are new every morning. We thank you for a new day. We ask your blessing over this day. We pray, Lord, that you help us to live this day in such a way that our lives would reflect your love, your light, that our lives would be so appealing to others that they want to know what it is and we can invite them and say taste and see that the Lord is good. We thank you that you do deliver us from all of our troubles, that you are with us in all times, in all seasons. Lord, we thank you that you never leave or forsake us. We pray that you would this day take us by the hand and lead us and help us, Lord, to magnify and glorify your name. We commit all to you today. We ask your blessing over our loved ones near and far. 
We ask, Lord, for mercy upon a sick and a dying world. We pray for all who are in need. We pray for an end to the coronavirus. We pray, Lord, for a vaccine. We pray, Lord, for wisdom in the governments. We pray, Lord, that people would do the right thing, the loving thing, that they would not say, well, it's uncomfortable, I won't wear a mask, but that they would think of others and think of doing the right thing, to do the loving thing. Lord, help us. It's not always easy. We live in a society that encourages us to be narcissistic, to just think about ourselves, but help us to think about others. Lord, we commit all to you, and we ask that by your Holy Spirit, you would empower us, lead us, and guide us. We ask now your blessing over this day by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray you have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you again tomorrow.